Question. Is it correct to say that a person's speech or actions can deter others from entering paradise, or that someone may, through his or her statements or actions, run others away from Islam? Isn't it up to Allah's decree? Is a statement like this a form of shirk? Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka nabinu Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allah knows best, it appears to me that the person who makes this statement can intend by it one of two possible meanings. The first one is that a person can deter people from embracing Islam, run them away from Islam, and determine whether others will attain salvation or damnation despite Allah's will or independent of Allah's will. Meaning somebody can actually guide someone independent of Allah's will or misguide someone independent of Allah's will, put someone in paradise independent of Allah's will, put someone in hell independent of Allah's will. This statement with this meaning is definitely a type of shirk because the person is equating or elevating the will of an individual over the will of Allah. However, it is highly unlikely that the person making the statement intends this meaning. The second possible meaning, as far as I can tell, the person intends that some statements and behaviors can negatively impact how people perceive Islam and their desire to embrace it if they are non-Muslims or their desire to remain Muslims, to, to remain committed to Islam if they are already Muslims. That some people can make Islam seem so distasteful that people who are non-Muslims won't want to enter it and people who are already Muslims will want to disassociate themselves with Islam. The second meaning is supported by several ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu in which he warned people not to say or do things that could potentially deter others from accepting the truth. Or he mentioned that some people will misguide others or be a direct cause of their going astray. So for example, we have the hadith collected by Bukhari on the authority of Abi, of, of Abi Musa al-Ash'ari, in which the Prophet said, Bashiru wa la He said, give glad tidings and do not run people away. He said, basically, he's telling his companions that you have the potential, the ability to run people away. Don't do that. We also have the statement of Ali in radiallahu anhu, which he said, Hadithu nas bima ya'rifun aturidunahum an yukadhiballahu an yukadhibu allaha wa rasooluh. I'm sorry, wa rasoola. An yukadhibu allaha wa rasoola. He said, speak to people in a way that they understand. Do you want them to belie Allah and his messenger? Do you want to say something that will make them disbelieve in Allah and his messenger? Ali and radiallahu anhu saying this and accepting this as a possibility. We also have the hadith of Prophet in which he said, every child is born upon fitr. He said, Kullu mawludin yuladu al fitrah. Fabawahu yuhawidani aw yunassirani aw yumajisani. He said, every child is born upon fitrah. Every child is born a Muslim. And it is his parents who make him a Jew or a Christian or a Magian. The Prophet is attributing their guide, their misguidance to what? To their, something their parents said or did or taught them. And also we have the hadith where the Prophet he was, telling, he was telling us about how the scholars will pass away. And when they pass away, people will appoint themselves. There'll be self-appointed muftis who are ignorant. And they will begin to give religious verdicts. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, فَأَفْتَوْهُمْ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ فَضَلُّوا وَأَضَلُّوا He said that these self-appointed muftis will give religious verdicts based upon their own opinions. They will go astray. These muftis themselves will go astray and they will lead others astray. So, uh, in, so it's a, it, what's apparent to me is that there is no problem with this statement if it is said about people whose statements and actions are legitimately deemed harmful to the image of Islam in the eyes of others. And if the statement is said with the proper meaning and intention, meaning the person means that it's ultimately Allah's will, but these actions can have this effect. They can make Islam appear so distasteful, or they can present Islam in a very incorrect way that causes people to go astray from the true Islam. If they mean it with that intention, then that statement is acceptable and Allah knows best. Hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka nabi Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi
اجمعين